Hello everybody and welcome to 20 Minutes Till Dawn. This is a game that I covered the free demo of that was available on Itch and Steam, which is no longer available. This is the full release version. It's 20 Minutes Till Dawn. It's $3 or your regional equivalent. So, what is this game? It is one, it is one of the first of many, I guess, I, well, the first that I've covered at the very least, but one of many Vampire Survivors-like games. I've heard them referred to as Hell Survival, I like to call them Bullet Hells or Auto Battlers, but frankly, you call them whatever you want. I Just don't call them roguelikes, because they're nothing like roguelikes. At best, they're arcade games. Anyway, uh, what is this game? So it is a, it is kind of like take the ideas of, from Vampire Survivors, but, um, give you the ability to shoot. There are multiple characters in the game, most of them with the ability to shoot. But I will do my best to kind of show you the basics. We'll do two runs of this. I won't win either of them because I'm really bad at this game. And I will kind of talk about what I like and what I don't like and give some feedback because this game is an early access. So if you are interested in picking this game up, it is on Steam for three bucks or your regional equivalent. Lots of people have purchased it and they seem to love it because that's just how people are with this type of thing. Um, many different language options, which is fantastic. So we're gonna grab English once again. We also uh, have your volume options, full screen on or off, uh, resolution op options if you're not in full screen, and camera shake on or off, which is a very nice addition to the paid version. Uh, if we jump into here, we have all of our different characters. So, uh, before we get into anything, I wanna click on runes up here. This is kind of your um, your perk progression, right? So you can spend this money up here on uh, perks and uh, you can equip them uh, based on the last one that, that you upgraded. I wish I could unequip this one because I kind of held down the button and passively bought it, which is start with half your HP, which I kind of don't like. There are ways of uh, regaining HP, but um, so the, these are your perks and you can kind of build a perk loadout. So knock back enemies after reloading, which I quite like, which we're going to keep. Um, and so, so that's how kind of your progression works. So you've got various different things, everything from when enemies die while burning or frozen. There's a 5% chance per rank of spending uh, their status effect on nearby enemies, etc. So there's there's quite a bit down here um, and quite a bit to unlock. It's, it's an all right little tech tree. Um, bullet damage and summon damage plus 2% per rank, etc. So we have our unlockable characters here, which I've unlocked all of already. We're going to play Shanna first, and then we're probably after that going to play Spark, which I think are kind of um, the two that kind of display the game the most. Um, they're, the perks are kind of as follows. You can reroll upgrades once per level, so you can kind of show the most, and also this whole character is built around upgrading really quickly. Uh, you have very high HP at the start, which starts with 6 HP. Uh, you have Scarlet, who on every third shot will throw out a wave of fire. Um, you have Hina, who... Um, will right click to summon a shadow clone which gives you kind of a dash i don't like it though because it doesn't give you iframes while you're in the actual dash which i find kind of annoying and it breaks my brain a little bit um then we have uh spark who has a 50 percent chance to call down a lightning strike uh, for five damage um whenever she hits and then we have uh lilith who uh when enemies are killed they summon a spirit and spirits chase down nearby enemies that's not true but they'll chase down an enemy in a direction and they will deal eight damage basically little skulls however i have a problem with this character um, your chest looks like a butt. Like, seriously, shiny cheeks, like, it is it is a little bit distracting. It looks like somebody painted or, like, took a, an inflatable butt and, like, stuck it on her chest. It's very strange looking to me. Um, and then the last one, which is Abby, um, which is right-click uh, to quickly shoot out all of your remaining ammo in random directions. I really dislike this ability, but it is kind of neat. Down for weapons, we have a revolver, a shotgun, a crossbow, flame cannon, dual SMGs, a bat gun, and a grenade launcher. Yes, this fires bats. All right, so we're just going to start off with the revolver and the base character just to show you the game. Now, we have two modes of play. We have 20-minute survival, which is a standard game, and then 10-minute survival, which is faster XP gain, so, like, shorter uh, periods. And then once you win, you unlock darkness, which uh, makes the game harder, basically. This game is very, very, very difficult. All of my complaints about this game so far that I've seen are based on the game's clarity. Uh, the actual visuals of this game is very heavily dedicated to its kind of um, three color palette, right? And while I respect the hell out of it for having a kind of awesome theme and awesome visuals, I, once you get into kind of the later games, it becomes a, a little bit of a challenge to even, um, how do I word this? See what the fuck you're shooting at? <laughs> Um, and also what you're dodging, because very quickly as stuff gets crazy, um, there is, uh, just, it, it, it becomes a challenge. I'll, I'll put it that way. But, we're gonna start picking up our XP, because 
this is what this game is. So, we can now re-roll. Um, we have various things. We could take the dragon egg right off the bat. It unlocks after three minutes, and then you get a friend dragon, but I'm gonna skip that one. Uh, there's magic lens, which uh, focuses your, or uh, changes how your your, your fire your, your bullets fire. So bullets that pass through it gain 30% damage in size, which is also a nice thing. The neat thing about magic lens is it kind of slowly rotates around your character, which is a, a, a neat way of doing things, but I think we're gonna take frost magic off the bat. Um, so right now, uh, there, as you can see, there's one. Uh, there's a small chance now that um, they're going to, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Get frozen, and uh, th then there's various other different um, abilities we can add onto it. They stay frozen for one second, and boss creatures stay fo frozen for half the, or like less than half the time. It's like a 0.3 seconds, I think. Ice Shard is an upgrade to this, so once we upgrade uh, this fully, we can get Shatter, which is what we're going for. So we're going to upgrade it to Ice Shard right off the bat. The thing that I want to combo it with, uh, that's Ice Shard, so whenever I reload, we fire out these three shards, which freeze enemies. What I want to get is I want to combo that with Fire. Um, because fire and ice seem to work together real nicely. We also want to uh, try and get some lightning. We're, gonna, we're just going to go all in on the elemental effects. But there's also on hit effects, there's sniper abilities, there's there's various different tweaks. And there's also an achievement for beating the game on the hardest possible uh, difficulty without firing your gun once. There is one, the character that I mentioned earlier that has that dash uh, does have the ability to... Um, uh, basically hit things without shooting, which is kind of neat. The uh, problem that I kind of run into with that is I feel like that might just be really tedious, but um, aside, tedious achievements aside, I, I do kind of, I, I do like this game's progression. I really, really wish it didn't have the meta progression like tree though. The fact that you pick which perks to equip per run, I think is a benefit, but um, I don't like meta progression and it just kind of makes me feel like this type of game is wasting my time which I'm not a huge fan of. So we're going to re-roll our upgrades because that's our special ability, and I didn't get anything that I wanted. But we can take Electro Mage, which, which will do. So every other shot, we caught, we summon down a Lightning Bolt, which is just going to hit somewhere on them. I do love how much more active this feels than Vampire Survivors, though. I think um, I, the, I have a few videos on my YouTube channel of Vampire Survivors, uh, FODs of my stream, not actual, like, just recorded specific videos. But what I do have to say about Vampire Survivors is I really started to hate it. And the reason I started to really hate it was it just started to feel like, oh, you spend time playing the game, you level up your passives, and then you just win the game. And that was just kind of how it played. And then the harder difficulties, you just grind until you unlock better passives. And that became the game loop. And that was never, that is never going to be a game loop that I enjoy. Let's just increase our fire rate to uh, shoot out our elemental effects more frequently. So that's never going to be a game loop that I enjoy. And so for, for that Matt, reason, I just kind of decided I'm going to stop playing Vampire Survivors. That being said, I really enjoyed the first, like, three hours of playing Vampire Survivors. So I'm kind of curious about other games that can take this idea and do it better, I guess. And so far, my experience with this game has been just that. So we now have Shatter, so enemies affected by Freeze explode when killed and deal damage to nearby enemies equal to 25% of their max HP, which is something that I'm working towards. So now, um, because I'm shooting stuff pretty frequently, as well as there's lightning coming down everywhere, um, stuff's going to be getting frozen pretty frequently. There is no uh, dodge or anything, so you just kind of walk in between enemies. Uh, there are things that give you movement speed buffs, which hopefully we will get to see at some point throughout this video. Rubber bullets, that would actually be quite helpful. Just bouncy bullets which uh, we get from Rapid Fire, and then we can get Siege later on. And then there's something else I need to show you. So now we, we have Bouncy Bullets, but there's something else I want to show you, Synergies. So if you get certain fully upgraded items, so like uh, Reaper Rounds and, or, and Light Bullets, um, and uh, Intense Burn and Frostbite, it then unlocks these Masteries, which are quite nice. So like Siege and Fullicide, I don't actually know what that means, um, gives us minus 25 move, move speed, but projectiles plus two and fire rate increase massively. Um, I think that there's another one that combos with Siege. I could be wrong. Uh, some of them do have multiples. But Gun Mastery is a neat one. Armed and Ready, Power Shot, and Rapid Fire. It gives you a bunch of really good bonuses here. Bullet damage that. Um, so, you know, we'll, we, we will also be kind of keeping an eye out for those and seeing if we can get anything uh, that could be useful in those fronts. Although one thing that I think is kind of hilarious is the Bullet Bounce actually can knock back enemies into you, which is kind of awful. But also kind of amusing in a weird way. 
So this is a mini boss character, the first of many. A uh, piece of feedback that I kind of have for this game: if there was, if there could just be an option to give all of the enemies a white outline, I think playing this game would be in infinitely easier for me. Not in like it would be less difficult, but I think it would be fair because the fact that like a lot of these enemies, all that you see are these tiny little eyeballs. As somebody who's visually impaired, actually makes playing this game really quite difficult. Um, and this is feedback that I sent for this into the, on this game for uh, for the itch.io version. Um, and I, I, I will reach out to the dev again and see if I can get my uh, takes heard because I, I really would like an outline because I would like to play this, but it's proving quite difficult uh, due to the visuals of it. So Siege, uh, when standing still, we have a 33% chance to shoot without using ammo, which is something that I would like. So we're gonna grab that. That and um, this synergies menu could be better designed. This is wasting a lot of screen and space, and it's really annoying having to like search through. If synergies could like just pop up on the screen when paused, that would be way nicer. Like just show them all on the screen at once, and also show what the icons look like. Don't put the names of them because I'm never gonna remember the names of them. But I remember what the icons look like. All right. Also, something that's a little strange, if you bump into trees, you kind of bounce off the trees, and you do get iframes from that. That gives you iframes. A few seconds of invincibility, which I think is odd. Let's go up here, grab that. Specialize. Uh, the next upgrade uh, is triple the effect of what I take, so we have to be very careful about the next upgrade we take. We have to take something that gives me damage or something of that sort. That is, that chest is achieved when um, taking the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? When you kill the mini boss. I'm kind of tempted to just take that. See if that just gives me three hearts. <laughs> Projectiles plus one, you know, let's try that. Let's see, does that? Yeah, it does, hell yeah. Give me all that HP, please. But something that I do really like about this game is it, it kind of has that Binding of Isaac effect where things, play off of each other way more than in Vampire Survivors and other um, games like this that I've messed around with. Because, like, this is the second one I've covered, but I've played a couple of them now. i played No Man's Survival and um, this one other one, which I'm blanking on the name of at, the, at this exact moment. It was a zombie thing. It wasn't very good. But um, th this one is kind of the first one of these that I've played that actually has a... How do I word this? like uh, good synergy effects between different um, weapon types. It, it really feels like, um, let's dodge that mini boss. Um, it really feels like uh, there's been a lot of thought and care put into how the, the weapons interact with other weapons. Um, energized, uh, when lightning strikes an enemy, there's a 20% chance to have your ammo automatically refill. Um, I think I'm actually just gonna give me faster movement. Uh, no, let's, let's reroll, let's see what we got. Um, Magnetism, take aim, bullet speed. You know, that might actually be good. Let's just shoot faster, because we are using a single shot pistol. Ouch. The wait for him to make that re sound. That was bad. Got all caught out there. Trying to, like, move through, but they kind of just got around me. So this arena is going to disappear. And I think a minute. I think it's 14 minutes that the arena fully disappears. Um. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with Anger Point and we're gonna try and get this, which is gonna recover me health every 90 seconds. There are other items that recover health as well, but that is just the one that I have available to me currently. Oh God. And we're dead. Like I said, we aren't gonna win this because I do suck at this, but that was our first attempt. Let's go back to the main menu and we'll show you a different loadout and uh, then we'll probably call it on the video at that point. Um, let's go with Spark and let's go with dual SMGs. And we're actually gonna do a quick play mode for this one. See if we can get a little further. I wanna show you some of the uh, other things that you'll encounter. So dual SMGs fires two bullets at once and uh, Spark uh, just has a 50% chance to call down um, lightning with each bullet shot that hits. So this is going to be your much faster, shorter mode that only lasts 10 minutes. But yeah, I streamed about four and a half, five hours of this 
this evening. And I, like I said, I, I really, really like the ideas behind, that this game has. Awesome. We can just take the upgrades for electricity right away. Perfect. Um, so now we just fire every single time because this bullet, this gun fires two at a time and every other shot um, counts toward or is what it takes to um, fire the lightning strikes. So because I, I just, I have two bullet, two guns, every time I shoot is two shots. So every time we fire uh, sends out lightning which is very powerful early on. And now every time lightning strikes something, there's a 20% chance to not have to, or to get my bullets back, basically. Who needs to reload? Am I right? It's a pretty nice little combo. Quite like it. But um, yeah, anyway, I really like the idea of Vampire Survivors, even if I didn't like that game's execution. And I'm excited to see what these weird top-down meta progression heavy cheap schmups end up being uh I, I actually had somebody in the comments uh, of the of the last video for this that i uploaded ask me not to call them auto battlers so i will do that I, I will respect that uh as somebody who doesn't play auto battlers so if you have a better name for these games don't make it roguelikes uh, i'd love to hear what they are down in the comments section let's just walk around clump everything together and annihilate them totally annihilate them. One could call it a total annihilation, even. Not that we should call it that. That, that was a video game from the 90s. Um, what else do we have here? Let's see. Oof. Reload rate and fire rate. That means more thunder. Sounds good to me. Look at that. And you do, of course, get points regardless of if you win or lose at the end of every round, which is what goes towards your unlocks. This is actually interesting. It's only my second time doing this quick mode. Armed and ready, which is the upgrade from the quick hands reload thing. Or we can grab electro bug, which is a, a little friend that flies around us who calls down lightning every so often. I think we're gonna get armed and ready. Just reload faster, call down more thunder, call down more thunder, always the thunder. Cause you've been thunderstruck. But yeah, the equipping perks and stuff and the, the variety of weapons and the fact that any character can use any weapon means I think that this game's got a lot of uh, potential. And I'm, I'm very curious to see where the early access of it goes. Um, I think that there's a lot of ways they could go with other modes and other difficulty modifiers and stuff like that, as well as adding other items and new synergies in the future, um, as well as maybe even adding other characters or character packs. Kill clip. Uh, increase reload uh, rate by 5% for... Uh, sorry, increase reload rate by 5%. Uh, for every enemy killed and the results reset after reloading. So I reload faster for every enemy killed, basically. Although I do kind of wonder where the developer of this game's from because it kind of feels like it was written, that some of the stuff was written here by someone who isn't a native English speaker <laughs> because some of the writing is a little odd. There's like S's in a few places where I'm like, that seems like a typo. Uh, rapid fire, please. That was easy. Uh, Electro Spark Affinity. Bullet damage minus 25%. Lightning damage plus 50. That's fine. Because we are all... Well, I mean, the bullet damage is like a happy bonus right now. All my damage is coming from the, the lightning right now. I can, like, direct it in a place because... My passive uh, means stuff I shoot gets hit by lightning, but that's about it. Uh, kind of almost want that, but also kind of not really. Although the more things that get hit by lightning, the better. I don't even know what that. Oh, that's probably a tree down there. Um, let's do that. Bullet speed and lowers the spread. Basically makes aiming at at a distance easier. One of the biggest problems I have with this build right now, though, is I don't have any passive uh, things that are killing stuff when I'm not shooting. This is 
is going pretty well, though. Uh, we could go with Frost Magic. Um, I think that there's a synergy with Frost Magic and Lightning. I could be wrong, though. So now when I shoot stuff, it basically makes my bullets useful again. It freezes them in place. Killing all of the things. 20 minutes till dawn, everybody. If this is, is this the kind of genre that you would like to see more of on this channel? Because like I said, I am interested in poking more of these as they pop up. Although I, I do think it's kind of funny that this is a genre that YouTube has almost willed into existence. Nobody would have noticed or played Vampire Survivors if it wasn't for, um, sure, yeah, we'll take that. Uh, nobody would have noticed or played Vampire Survivors if it wasn't for videos from Northern Lion and Splattercat. And like, cause that game came out and totally flew under the radar and nobody noticed or cared about it for quite some time until after it had been out for a bit. And then suddenly I think it was Splattercat Gaming actually who found it. So shout outs to Splatter uh, for, for spotting Vampire Survivors. And then suddenly that game just had like a bajillion overwhelmingly positive reviews. And then just al like using the Steam algorithm popped up on the front page of everything. And now is like one of the highest selling games of the year. which is just kind of funny, if you ask me. Let's see if I can not die to you. Oop, that was not the direction I was expecting you to go. Ah, damn it. But yeah, I think it's kind of funny that this is a genre of games that YouTube kind of willed into existence that is now flourished into its own thing and is rapidly growing in popularity. But that is 20 minutes till dawn. I suck at it. I blame my eyes. If you want to see more videos like this, go over to my YouTube channel and take a look. I've got videos on various games that have come out over the past, uh, I don't know, recent times. Some free, some not, some that are interesting, some that may not be. And if you want to uh, watch more Dwarf Fortress than you could ever reasonably watch in a lifetime, I have that on my YouTube channel as well. And if you would like to support this video directly or myself directly, down in the comments section, you could leave a super, uh, a super uh, thanks, which is the little heart button with a dollar sign in the middle, or you could support me on Patreon. Patreon.com slash B-L-I-N-D-I-R-L. And if you want to see my face while I play video games, twitch.com tv slash blindirl. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.